manifold plate replacement, and manifold gas pressure adjustment. Nortz recommends that any service performed on our products is completed by a licensed and trained professional. The following is intended as an educational tool for the professional trade. To begin, please make sure you have the following items. Work gloves, Phillips screwdriver number two, seven millimeter or nine thirty seconds in nut driver. Manometer. Noritz recommends using the UEI EM151 digital manometer, which runs about $100 on Amazon. New parts, which should include the manifold and pre-coated screw attached to the box. Gas manifold chart, which can be found on support.noritz.com under technical literature, or contact Noritz technical line at 866-766-7489. And remote controller which is optional. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, carefully remove the front cover by unscrewing the four screws, two on top and two on the bottom. For safety precautions, locate the gas valve and shut it off by turning it so it is perpendicular to the pipe. Unplug the unit to ensure the power is completely off. Before removing the manifold, locate and remove the C-clamp on the bottom right corner of the unit. Slide the gas pipe up so it disconnects from the gas inlet fitting. Follow the wires coming out of the manifold to the connected wire harness. Disconnect by pressing and holding the middle tab of the harness and pulling apart at the same time. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, carefully remove the manifold by unscrewing the four main screws. Don't use power tools to remove or tighten screws or else thread damage can occur. Remove the manifold, which will expose the burner holes. Separate the gas pipe entirely from the manifold. Open the box of new parts and remove packing material to reveal new manifold plate. Locate the new pre-coated screw, but don't install yet. Note, the old screw should look like the Teflon has been removed and the new screw should be completely coated for a gas-tight seal. Remove plastic seal off the new manifold and insert the gas pipe. Push down until it bottoms out. Note, there are different types of gas pipes. Each pipe should have an attached washer that cannot pass through. The pipe with no curve is a universal pipe. Inspect the manifold gasket to ensure that it's properly assembled. A faulty gasket may lead to gas leaks. If the gasket seems damaged, please contact the Nortz Technical Department. Install the new manifold into the unit by inserting the attached gas pipe into the inlet fitting and pushing down until it's completely in and the washer is perfectly resting on top of the fitting. Reinstall the C-clamp and make sure it can rotate with ease. Reconnect the wire harness by pushing the two ends back together until you hear a click. Locate the manifold screws and, using the Phillips head screwdriver, carefully reattach the four main screws. Remember to not use power tools to tighten manifold screws. Next, you'll need the gas manifold chart and the digital manometer to properly set the manifold pressures. Turn on the gas valve and inspect the unit for any gas leaks. If the unit's clear, then proceed by closing the water valve and after that, reconnect the power to the unit. If the unit has a remote, press the power button on the controller to turn the unit on. Your set temperature should appear. To test the gas pressures, Turn on the manometer by pushing the power button and wait until it displays 0.00. .00. Make sure you're on the scale inches of water gate, or INWG. You can cycle through by pressing the green button until you reach INWG. Consult the manometer manufacturer for further details. Take the manometer tube and attach it to the manifold testing port where the hex screw recently was. Turn the water inlet valve back on, parallel to the pipe, 
and open the PRV valve or several faucets to call for enough hot water demand for the manifold adjustment, over 3 GPM. If the model has a remote controller, the red burner light should be on, indicating that the unit is producing hot water. Locate the burner glass window, and if your model heater does not have a remote, confirm there is a flame. Next, remove the manometer tube from the manometer and block the end of the tube with your finger. Zero out the manometer and then reattach the tube to the manometer. This is done to purge any residual air from the tube. Note, pressures will fluctuate. Locate the manifold pressure adjustment buttons on the circuit board. Certain models will require a special access mode to adjust manifold gas pressures. Please consult your technical data sheet or call the technical department. Press and hold the top and third button from the top until SP pops up for special unit. There are a total of five buttons. Note, the first button is the up button. Second button is the down button. Third button is the min button. And the fourth button is the max button. Press down the min button to get to plus 1.31 original number for this unit. To get to 1.21, the set number from the chart, press the second or down button until you get to 1.21. Next, we want to look at the max value. Hold down the max button and use the up and down buttons to get to a 2.57 value the set number from the chart. Note, you may want to check the number by removing the tube, zero out, and test again. plus or minus 0.04 inches of water gauge, or INWG, is acceptable. Return to the water inlet valve and turn it to the off position. Also, turn the gas valve off. Remove the tube from the manifold testing port and, using the Phillips head screwdriver, replace the screw with the new pre-coated screw. Head back to the water inlet valve and gas valve and turn both to the on position. Once completed, put the unit's front cover back on by reattaching the two screws located on top of the unit and the two screws on the bottom of the unit. Close the PRV or hot water faucets and make sure that the hot water is back on. Thank you for joining us. If you have any additional questions regarding any of the Noritz products, please contact us at 866-766-7489 or visit support.noritz.com.